Hey guys, it's Daniel here, it's Iowa Tech. Today I'll be doing the review of the Philips DC190, I believe. It's the iPod dock I unboxed last week. And this is finally the review. So, let me just talk about the aesthetic of the device. As you see, the front view is a very shiny device, as you can see me. Uh, it has like a mirror finish and this uh, silver uh, compartment here where the iPod will go. Um, on the right side of the device, you have a, this one of the speakers, one side of the speakers. And you have a sleep. Uh, I won't focus, but the top one says sleep. And the two other ones say uh, the, the volumes, the pot, uh, raise and lower. On the back, it has your tuning uh, for your radio station. It has the, in the middle right here, it's for the uh, setting your alarm clock. And here, it's uh, for how how you want the alarm clock to sound so if you want to wake with to the music on your iPod to the radio or the buzz beep 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 and also I'll talk a little bit about that as well on the right side on the left side of the device sorry you have the left side of the speaker the power pod the source so for your radio or iPod the pr uh, pr pr was that pre preset let's see guys on the top here you have your alarm one alarm, two and snooze. This is a dual alarm clock, so this uh, something that's good. This is actually the main reason why I bought it for alarm clock purposes, since I didn't have a uh, alarm clock. And now let's look under the compartment where your iPod goes. So you just kind of push it and kind of push it out, and you push it down. And then on here you have the play, the um, next and previous, and the place for your iPod. Now last in my box video I didn't have my iPod, but here it is. It's fine here. Right, let me just show you how you put it in. And now, when you're putting it in, it's sort of simple. It just kind of slides in. But this is one thing about my major complaints that I do have a case for my iPod. And as you see, there's no case no, because be I cannot put my iPod to charge with the case on. So this is one of my major complaints because I really like my case and uh, I kind of get lazy after on to put it. So. I usually have to work with my iPod without it, and I don't like that. That's just, I guess, more like a lazy factor. Um, so that's one complaint. And to be honest, that's my only real complaint. The speakers sound good, and the uh, the alarm clock is excellent. That's what I like. Um, I like the mirror finish and an aesthetic purpose with it uh, on my bookshelf or my movie shelf. Rather. It's perfect. Um, I like the beeping sound, and what one thing great about this alarm feature is that um, when it's beeping, it goes from low to high, so it's beep, 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 it slowly gets louder. That's something that's really good, because I don't like to jump out of my bed, I like to slowly wake up. Uh, now, if you want to look at the uh, where it says the time, it says it nice, it's uh, sort of small, it's roughly half of the whole mirror, but that's because if it was the full that your iPod would be taken away. What happened here? Um, now let's take a look at it. As you can see, it, has, it recognizes my iPod, but if I hit the source button on the left, it changes to MP3 link. And then here's the radio. Uh, obviously, I don't have a radio preset. But I'll go back to my iPod. There we go. So it doesn't play. Uh, it has this thing right here where it's like the volume. It's basically if you want to turn on and off your alarm, so that signifies that my alarm clock is on. If I want it off, I just hit the top right here, alarm one, and one more, and see how it has like the mute sign. I mean, it's off. If I want it on, obviously, and this one signifies that it's my alarm one. Here it says alarm, so it's alarm one or two. If I push two, no, sorry. Okay, uh, sorry. Alarm 2 goes on the right side, it has the flashing, but now I turned it off, and it says the time. And one thing that actually got me confused is because I, I know it had to say PM, but I didn't see that it says it right there at the right, so I don't know, maybe I'm not smart. And at the bottom it has the weekend, or the weekdays and weekends, the whole week uh, here. Now it's a Wednesday, obviously, Wednesday the 24th, but it has Tuesday, Monday, Sunday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So that's a very something something else that's very nice. So to be honest, guys, uh, I really do love this dock. The speakers sound good. Maybe I'll play something here if I can find something. Um, 
Maybe I'll just play Adam song. Like you guys can hear. It's pretty decent, you know. It's it, it's not really meant for speaker purposes. It's not a one of those speaker systems. It's a dock. It's a uh, alarm clock, and that's what I use it for. And it's very good at its purpose. I really do enjoy it. Um, I guess out of five stars, if you want, I'd give it a four and a half, just because it does what I want. I the only thing I don't like is the case. Um, if you, if you're a person, I guess who cares more about the audio, this might not be for you because it's its purpose isn't for that. It's not one of those high-end speaker systems where it's fairly uh, mid-range cheap device. But it, it truthfully does look nice. It does its job. I wake up calmly. I don't have to jump out of my bed, and that's it, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed my review, and uh, bye.